Next, we're going to talk about in the section of 3-3 dividing polynomials is synthetic division. Now, synthetic division is a little bit more limited, but a lot of people like it a little bit more than they do long division. For starters, you still must hold place value in your dividend, so make sure that you're aware of that. And uh, this only works. The reason it's a little bit more limited is because you can only be used if your divisor is linear or have a degree of 1. So uh, just something to remember. Make sure that you're aware of that because... Uh, if you try to use synthetic division for other things, it just won't work. Let's look at a problem. Here's our problem. It says divide 5x cubed plus 6x plus 8 by x plus 2. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take our divisor and we're going to set it equal to 0. So this is just like finding the 0 of the divisor. So as you can see, we got a 0 of negative 2. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put this number up here in a little box. And next what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, dividend and we're going to write down only the coefficients of the terms in descending order. Now like it says in the last thing, we must hold place value. So if for some reason there's one missing, we need to basically put that in there to hold the place value. So this is a cubic polynomial. So we're going to start with the coefficient of the term uh, for the, the third degree. And then as you can see, there is no quadratic term. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a zero to represent the quadratic term. And then for our linear term, we'll use the coefficient of the linear term. And then lastly, we have the coefficient of our constant, or our constant. Okay, so those are the numbers we're going to use. And what we do is we bring the first number down below the line. So we put a nice little 5. That's how we start the game. Anything below the line gets multiplied by what's in the box up here. So negative 2. So 5 times negative 2 will give us negative 10. Any two numbers above the line get added together. 0 and negative 10 will give us a negative 10. As you can see, negative 10 is below the line, so we're going to multiply it by negative 2. When you do that, you'll get a positive 20. And then we're going to add these two numbers together to get 26. Lastly, you're going to take that number and multiply it by negative 2. When you do that, you will get negative 52. We'll then add these two numbers together, and when you do that, you'll get a negative 44. To make sense of our answer, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and look at some other division problems that we have uh, worked on. So if you go back and you look, the degree of our, uh, our dividend in this one was 4, and the degree of our divisor was 2, and our quotient ended up with a degree of 2. Here, you had a degree of your dividend being 3, the degree of your divisor was 1, and the degree of your quotient was 2. So hopefully what you're starting to see is a little pattern that uh, to get your answer, the degree of your answer, all you have to do is take the degree of your dividend and subtract it by the degree of your divisor. And that will give you the degree of your quotient. So right now, as you can see, 3 minus 1 gives us 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these numbers and we're going to start there. So we'll say the first term is going to be 5x squared. And the reason we use x squared is because 3 minus 1 will give us 2. And then we'll say negative 10x, so we just decrease by 1 every time, and then plus 26. Now, as you can see, we have a quadratic term, a linear term, and a constant, but we still have a number left. The last number, when you use synthetic division, actually represents your remainder. So we're going to take that number right there and put it under or over our divisor, x plus 2. So that is the quotient and remainder for this division problem.